if you look at all the NFL quarterbacks of note, most are grinders and most are totally obsessed and driven and committed to the sport. I don't think RG3 is committed to the sport. Trent Dilfer used to have a line. It, it, if, you, if you're looking for a franchise quarterback and you're really looking for a great NFL player, you have to ask yourself, um, do you love football or do you love what football can give you? And Tom Brady loves football. Johnny Manziel loves what football can give him. Fame, money, notoriety. It can, RG3 loved what football could give him. Make him famous, make him money, branding, look at my sock line. Tom Brady loves football. And, um, but the, the thing is about RG3, 51 quarterbacks this year. Think about this, Christine. To a team, 51 quarterbacks threw at least 50 passes this year. 51. That's to a team, right? Uh, almost to a team. And I'm, not, I'm counting guys that threw 50 passes. There's about 60 guys that actually played this year. So backup quarterback's a real position. And the RG3 did have success in Washington, brief success, when he had a smart coach and he had a good offensive line. Dallas has a smart coach and a good offensive line. They wouldn't – the expectations would be low. With Tony Romo's age and injuries, he would absolutely have an opportunity to play. I would roll the dice on RG3. I have no interest in Johnny Manziel.